Welcome to the Board Game Closet. My name is Jimmy. I'm Bradley. I'm Rod. And today we are doing a preview of a game that should be on Kickstarter right now called Rocket, Rocket Cats. Cats. Woo! <laughs> you got to see the artwork on this one. It is so cool. Every one of these cards have the coolest things yes. on them, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Like comic book. Every yes. you know, every little card has its own special story about you know a cat freaking out or <laughs> right. running super fast or electrocuted, sh electrocuted, <laughs> shooting a bazooka. Zuka, like it's you know dropping hanger names. Yeah, yes. I'd watch any of these shows. I'd, wa I'd watch any of those. So Rocket Cats is a programming game. So you have different scenes. We were sent two uh, prototype boards that were actually double sided. So go to the Kickstarter campaign and see what they're offering. But uh, in one scene we were in a bathroom, in a bathroom kitchen, kitchen. There's a Christmas a Christmas tree. tree. Yeah. <laughs> that was really cool. And so the basic idea is that you are fighting against each other and you yes. are programming your turns ahead of time. Or you get eight cards. You choose five out of those eight you lay them down and then simultaneously you reveal them mm -hmm. and then based off of a color system mm -hmm. then all of these things start to transpire and you will do all kinds of stuff you're going to be jumping up rocketing up into the air yeah. Throwing your hand grenades at each other. Mm -hmm. Falling down. <laughs> Everything Falling cats down. do. Everything cats do. <laughs> We're sure this is what cats do when we leave the room. Exactly. You know? <laughs> uh, but there are three different ways that you can play the game. You can play a team version mm -hmm. where uh, we are going, you split into an even group. So I think it starts at like six players with that one. You split into two teams and then you are trying to kill the assassin cats on the other team. Yep. And um, Or there is an assassin cat and you're trying to kill the traitor. Right. And uh, then then you actually have nine lives. If you get down to zero, you, uh, you're you out. You have to respawn. Uh, then there is a fur-for-all. <laughs> like you would. Yep, like you do. <laughs> and this is just everybody is on their own. And in that version of the game, you're actually trying, you start at zero and you're trying to kill nine lives. And so you could try to get uh, nine lives out of your opponents. The first person to do that wins. Mm -hmm. And there's even a hunter or a solo version of this game. And so <laughs> yeah. you could be, you could play this game solo as well. So uh, let's talk about maybe the highlights. What were the things that stood out to this game? If somebody is going to back this, what would be a reason that they would be excited about? rocket cats yeah i think for me the the first thing that sticks out is just chaos it's just <laughs> flat out not knowing what the other players are going to do at the table right. and then you if you jump up there's a whole gravity aspect oh, where yeah, you're fall falling down. down and so it's a little hard to keep up with that but then also it changes quickly because maybe the other people that you thought was going to be in line with you use a jet pack and they're yeah. not only going up but maybe they're going a little sideways and so your shot totally misses, or you go to drop a bomb down, and they're going up and away. And so at any given moment, you could just be over here in the corner doing backflips and setting off grenades and bombs. All by yourself. All by yourself. And so, you know, it's kind of frustrating in the moment, but then at the end of the game, I just couldn't help but laugh. You just laugh. Because it's so silly that your cat is over in the corner doing backflips and stuff. And it just makes perfect sense, you know? Well, I think the theme, when I first heard the theme, I wasn't excited because I, I actually own two, two cats. <laughs> but that's probably the reason I didn't want to play originally. But, you know, it's perfect because of the it chaos. It is perfect yeah. My cats. cats in the middle of the night will do something. That's right. Terror, screaming, <laughs> yeah. and things will be ripped to pieces. This is exactly how the game goes. Yeah. You're playing. There's explosions. There's things yes. running back and forth. It is just, like you're saying, total chaos. Total chaos. And that's perfect. Yes. Perfect for perfect for me. I so, love the programming aspect. Yeah, yeah if you've, uh, the programming reminds me of Robo Rally. I don't know if you played that or Mechs mm -hmm. versus Minions. Mm -hmm. And so it's that same kind of idea where you are confident yes. that this yeah. is going to play out perfectly. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. in the first reveal of the card, you're like, oh, didn't expect well, that. This round's over, you know? <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> And it's all just one, two, three, four, five. At the beginning, you think you're pretty confident. And then mm -hmm. by the end, you've got your hands up in the air going, <laughs> ah, what? Why did I do that? Why did I even do that? What, what I liked when we first opened this box, there are so many tokens. There yes. are grenades. There are yep. rockets. There are nets. There mm -hmm. are dynamite. dynamite. You know, all yep. kinds of things in there. And I remember opening it up and sorting out all these tokens and thinking, wow. this is going to be crazy. Yeah. But once you play it, you'll realize that it's very easy to understand. Right. Everything's written out on the cards, tells you exactly what to mm -hmm. do. And then what that did is that actually clicked a new 
button for me like okay now it's not just the same weapons but now there's this whole world right. of stuff that you could do right and so there's a, even a set of cards that you play after you're used to it that introduces even more things more stuff that you could do more weapons that you could use so you'll find that they've really probably played this a ton and said well let's just keep adding mm -hmm. in all these cool weapons yes. Uh, yeah. It reminds me of a game that I played back in the day on computer called Worms, Worms. Uh, with like 700 different weapons that you would do. <laughs> and you were just confident you're going to lob this dynamite over yeah. there and it would blow them up, but it bounces back and hits you yeah. and then you're dead. It's yeah. just so cool. Yeah, and you don't have to really worry about um, what all the bombs and grenades, are they bouncing off something, are they flying over? The game comes with arrows that are oh, just yeah, kind yeah. of static clings. The static clings. Um, arrows that clearly shows where the thing's going, it's what direction, cool. what's it doing. But then also the board is dry erase. Oh, that's right. And so you don't even have to mess with the stickers. You could each person could have an a, a, a marker mm -hmm. and you place the token and draw the direction and then as the turns move, you you place it where it goes. So that's super easy. That turns a really complicated process of right. where exactly is this thing going uh, just takes all that away. Mm -hmm. And we didn't talk about it. Let me just explain again how the cards work. But the cards the cards that you use in the game are actually two-sided. So there's a top and a bottom to the card. And so when you place the card down, you put a token on it that says, I'm going to use the top or the bottom ability. And on the back side of the cards, there are four basic actions that you could do, like turn your cat around, go forward two spaces, go up two or down two. Yeah. And so there is a lot of flexibility in what you're allowed to do. Basically, you have eight cards with two abilities mm -hmm. and four generic things. So on your turn, you're not going to be stuck saying, I can't do anything this round. No. You could go all the way across the board, You know, right. just use all five of your cards and just zoom across just to, move. to get where you want to go. So the, the programming aspect, because they gave you all those options, really opens up a lot of possibilities. Totally. Yeah, we didn't mention that enough because there's some because the other programming games I've played, the problem has been you ran out of your hand, you couldn't do anything. Yeah. This here, like you're saying, you have multiple things, six things on the card to do. <laughs> yeah. You've got you got plenty of six options. Things, yeah. yeah, plenty of plenty options. Of option. Yeah, I mean this is to me it's just a fun game. It's got fun it's got, it's got just a ton of little aspects to it that uh, that I enjoy doing in the mm -hmm. game. And it's a nice little party game if you think about it. Everybody's you know yeah. when we're playing, oh, yeah. everybody's getting into it yeah. and they're oh, darn, this happened, or yes, I did this perfectly. <laughs> right. You know, and not everyone's going to be happy, so if someone's going to make mistakes. Right. I can only imagine having seven people, six people playing the game. Yes. What wow. kind of chaos that would have. I think it plays up to eight, and wow. can you imagine people. having eight cats? Eight, right. yep. yeah. We didn't even talk about the cool meeples. The cat, yeah. yes. the cat yeah. meeples, yeah. there yeah. are coming eight different ones. There's an assassin cat, mm -hmm. a Romeo, a... Uh, I forget how they called it. Romeo, a uh, Romeo oh. and Julie, <laughs> Julie cat or something, you know? And so uh, they are yeah. really, really cool. Yeah. So, all right. So that's a rocket cat. Obviously go to the, the Kickstarter, see yes. what has totally changed because everything that we have is just a prototype. So go online, see what they have to offer and find out if this game is for you. Totally. See you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah.